Hello again, Algebra 1 students. Mr. Wells, the crazy math guy, again with um, some more instruction on solving equations. Now, take a look at this equation. I think that you should be able to tackle this guy with no problem. Um, you notice that we have 4x and 2x together in a single expression on the left side of the equation here. So the 4x and the 2x would simply combine as 6x, combine those like terms, and then plus 5 equals 9. And we're in familiar territory. We just used x box from here on out. x times 6, yada, 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 plus 5. Result is 9, and then work backwards. You're, you're familiar with that. I'm not going to finish that process. Now, look at this equation and notice the difference. It's a very, very important difference. The 4x and the 2x, we cannot, we cannot combine those like terms because they're on opposite sides of the equation. This equal sign is very important, the position of the equal sign. What we're saying is that this 4x plus 5 and the 2x plus 9 are equal. You cannot combine those two terms. What I call, what we're going to do is we're going to gather the x terms to one side of the equation so that we'll have an equation like this. It won't be this equation over here. It's going to be different, but we'll have an equation like this after we have gathered those terms. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to create a physical model. And you're not going to have to create this physical model every time. I'm just asking, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you this physical model so that you will understand what we do to gather these two variable terms to one side. So we have right now x, 1, 2, 3, 4, x on the left, and 1, 2, x on the right. This equal sign means that this expression and this expression are truly the same amount. They equal, so they would balance if you were to put them on a scale. Um, so that's the way we're looking at it. We're looking at this as a scale that is balanced. Now, we also have one, oops, let me do this in blue, in red rather. We also have uh, one, two, three, four, five on the left. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the right. Now, we need to have all of our x's on one side of the equation. Now, I can't just pick these two x's up and carry them over there because then the equation would no longer be balanced. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to, let me use black, I suppose. I don't know. I can't decide which color to use. Let's use green. I need to get rid of somehow these two x's over here because I don't want these x's on this on over here. First of all, I ask myself which side of the equation has more x's? This side. Four is bigger than two. Four is bigger than two. So I'm going to get rid of these two x's out like this. I'm going to cancel them out. If I put two negative x's over here with the two positive x's, do you not agree that, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get a black pen and what does that equal? I hope you see that that equals zero. They cancel each other out. Those two negative x's cancel out the two positive x's now, but we no longer we don't have the same weight on the right side of the equation of the right side of the scale as we used to. We have altered the right side of the equation. So we have to alter the left side in the same exact way. 
with a negative x and a negative x. Now, the two sides of the equation are balanced again. However, look at this. We have another zero over here. That equals zero also because those two negative x's cancel out the two positive x's. So what we're left with, and I can't decide what to circle that in. Let's see, well, purple. What's in the purple over here should equal what's in the purple over there because the rest of it is just zero, right? The two black, uh, the, two stuff, the stuff in black is all zero. So what we've ended up with is 2x plus 5 equals 9. Essentially, the essential, uh, and by the way, we're not finished. We would still have to solve this equation using the x box. And you could continue to do similar canceling out with the ones, but that's not my style. I prefer the x box. Now, um, notice this 2x that we ended up with on the left side of the equation. The essential question is, which side of the equation has uh, more x's? Let me find another color that I haven't used before. I can't find another color. That yellow. <laughs> You're comparing 4x and 2x. 4x is bigger than 2x, right? There's more over here than there is over here. How much more? The answer to that question is this. The two extra x's end up on the left side because that's where those extras are. The other two canceled out. And you would carry on from here. We're in familiar territory now. It's Xbox territory. So you'd finish solving the equation and checking as you have been doing before.